Good morning, Morning Musings by Melinda. Tonight is Wednesday Connections at 6.30 Mountain Standard Time. Please get ready to make your phone calls for readings and for connections with uh, Melinda, me, uh, the medium who makes a difference, and Amanda Chavez, uh, Masters in Social Work, so that we can help you with both the spirituality and the psychology of your situation. You know, the other day, Elliot, my nine-year-old grandson, said to me, hey, Grandma, I would really like to go to the aquarium. And I said, well, let's make a plan. I, I would like to also. And I said to him, you know, the other thing I wanted to do was go to the museum and have lunch in that cafe like we did, you remember. And he said, you know what, Grandma, you are always making plans. And I said to him, well, is that a bad thing, Elliot? And he stopped to think about it. And he said, actually, it's a really good thing because we always have a good time. And so that thought occurred to me today to share with you because I think that we don't plan for happiness. I think we expect to be happy without making a plan. I don't think that you can have a good time and be happy and feel content in your life without planning for it like anything else. So if you're somebody that stays stagnant at home and doesn't do anything, twiddles your thumb and wonders why you don't feel good all the time or, you know, what's going on with you in your complacency, it's because you don't have a plan to be happy. You've got to choose it. Have a great day.